Hello everyone, I am back. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey Osenbach and yes, it's different now. So um, before we jump into this content, I would just like to point out that this is hashtag quarantine curls <laughs> day three here and I have literally not refreshed it at all. Um, so if you hop over to my Instagram, I will put my username in the description box. Um, you can look at my most recent post about what I did to it. Um, but I'm not going to go into detail right now. Um, so without further ado, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, I put out videos when I can, um, which hopefully will be more now that I'm not planning a wedding. <laughs> and so we're gonna jump right in. So a couple weeks ago, a little over a week and a half ago, I got married. Oop, hold on, I'm a little crooked. <laughs> so yeah, okay. And I'm going to insert video slash pictures right here. Now, these are not the professional ones. These are ones that my friends have taken and sent to me just for your information. But are you gonna wipe some of that icing on his face, dog? Not a wedding if you don't do it. Put that icing on his face, Kelsey. Do it. Come on, Kelsey. Do it. Oh. Okay, so as you can see from our pictures and videos, both of us are extremely joyful and happy. Um, we are enjoying married life. Um, and we're very, very thankful to be husband and wife now. Um, and from what you could see from the videos and pictures, it looked like everything went according to plan. Um, but that is what I'm going to go into today because um, it did not go according to plan. And our story really shows God's glory and his hand at work to make sure that we were still able to get married. So, um, the week leading up to our wedding was when everything started coming out about the coronavirus. Um, like not that it hadn't come out before, but things really started to move forward in like shutdowns and everything like that. So we did get married in uh, State College, Pennsylvania. And our ceremony venue was booked for the um, Eisenhower Chapel on Penn State's campus. Now, I had used to work there uh, before I moved up here to Utica, New York. And so my old boss uh, waived the fee for us for the ceremony space. So we're like, awesome, free ceremony space. <laughs> like, this is great. Um, and so... Um, Wednesday before the wedding, um, and even a little bit before that, I started receiving text messages from a bunch of people. Um, like, have you heard the news? Like, is it, this state is closing down, this is closing down, this college, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, we're still doing the wedding. Like, I am five days away. Um, it hadn't really gotten to the point where states were closing down at that point, and so I'm like... We're still, I'm still personally doing it. And um, so I had about 15 people or so within the um, last 48 hours before the wedding cancel on me and say we're not coming. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, we're going to have a lot of extra food 
and a lot of extra cake, which I can eat cake later. I'm cool with this. Okay. And some of these people were like really close. And so I was, you know, a little heartbroken that they weren't going to be there. Um, but I understood their decision. It's like their personal decision. So then on Wednesday nights, that's when Penn State closed their campus. And um, my day of coordinator, who's also a really good friend, um, t messaged me at 1030 at night going, you may want to call Pascarella tomorrow and make sure that your wedding is still good. And so Wednesday night, I'm sitting here panicking because I might not have ceremony space. And so my day of coordinator calls actually for me the next morning. They told her everything was good. Um, the wedding was still on and and everything like that so i'm like great so thursday afternoon one of ben's groomsmen uh cancels um due to health concerns with the coronavirus and so um we had put our ushers who were our two brothers in the same tuxes as the groomsmen and so it was great Ben's brother stepped in to be one of the groomsmen and um, we got another close friend who was already coming to the wedding to be the other usher because um, he you know had a nice suit tie that pretty much closely matched our colors and so it was it that all worked out wonderfully <laughs> and um, Friday morning rolls around and we are at the reception space. We used my parents' church when they lived in State College, they're in Harrisburg now, um, as the reception space. And so we had to decorate it ourselves and we were doing that. And I get a call from Pascarella saying that the ceremony might not be able to happen at the chapel. And it's the day before my wedding. <laughs> And so I'm like, okay, but they weren't going to know for sure because my old boss was waiting to hear from higher ups, but this was not a decision that he made. If it was in his um, power, he would have allowed us to still have the wedding there. But um, it, this was coming up from, from above him. So um, he's like, we don't know for sure yet. I haven't heard from them. So as soon as I hear back from them, I will let you know. So at this point, we wanted to start looking at backup options just in case. So we uh, contacted a couple of churches in the area who we had had some connection with when um, all of us were still living in State College. And a couple of them weren't going to be able to work. Um, so, and then Ben called his church that he used to go to when he lived in State College and they said it could work, but we're not sure because um, Donald Trump was coming on at three to give more information. And if he issues a state of emergency and complete shutdown, like we probably won't be able to do it. So by about one o'clock in the afternoon, we had basically narrowed down to two options. We could get married at Ben's old church uh, or we are just going to have to get married in our reception space. And um, the way it was going to be decorated was going to be really beautiful. And at that point, we only had about 120 people coming. So we were going to be able to kind of set it up with chairs going along the outer edges of the dance floor with an aisle going up through the middle and the sweetheart table kind of being like the center point. Um, so I held it together pretty well. I had a lot of people who were like, are you, sure? are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? And people who, um, you know, some of the vendors who um, were like, are you sure you're the bride? Like you're very calm. But then at about, I don't know, 1.30 or so, I lost it. I completely broke down. I got a little angry because I was just like, God, why in the world? Like, this was supposed to be our wedding and everything is falling apart. And why? I, I was all being a little selfish, honestly. Um, like, why did it have to happen on our day? Like, this is our day. Um, and so... I completely broke down. My mom and I went into one of the Sunday school rooms just to have some
private time so that I could just ball because I wasn't going to do that. Like I had a bunch of family aunts, uncles on both sides there. And so I wasn't going to do that um, with them all around. And then Ben came in and um, he's always been really good about comforting and, um, you know, helping me through my anxiety and pointing me back to Christ. And so he came in and he knelt down beside me and was like comforting me and stuff. And at that point, my mom starts bawling. She's like, I know my girl's going to be in really good hands. And so she left us alone to kind of like just allow the two of us to deal together with this issue. Because at that point, um, my dad had received the call from Pascarella that we were not going to be able to have our ceremony um, at the chapel. And uh, we had not heard from Ben's church yet. And we had to wait about another hour. And so, but, so we sat there for a good 45 minutes or so um, praying on our knees. <laughs> I didn't do, uh, Ben did a lot of the like the spoken prayer <laughs> i was just sitting there bowling and he's like your turn your turn you need to talk to him and i i like just didn't have words and i knew that my crying and stuff like god was hearing it and jesus was interceding for me and um i just i'm just like trust me i'm talking to him <laughs> I'm just not speaking right now because I don't know what to say. Like, I, I just, I don't know. So we, um, I got settled down. I, it was good that I just let it all out. We went back out to the reception, like the main area in the reception space. And um, Ben called all the family together. We got in a circle. They all prayed for me, prayed for the day. Um, and then... About 30 minutes later, we got a call from Good Shepherd Lutheran, which is Ben's old church, that we were going to be able to have it there. And I'm glad we, like, we were kind of pressed for time because our rehearsal was at 5.30 and if we needed to rehearse in our new space. So we were just kind of like, we need to figure out where we're going to be because we got to let groomsmen know. A lot of them were coming in from out of state um, and getting there at, at the, around the start time of the rehearsal. So like I have musicians, like we gotta let these people know. I got photographers, um, my florist, she needs to know where to deliver all this stuff. Like, <laughs> so, um, so luckily, you know, God worked in a mighty way and Good Shepherd was able to have our ceremony. So at about, um, you know, once, once we got the ceremony space, things kind of calmed down. You know, we went to the hotel to check in and um, the people there were like, are you okay? Are you sure you're the bride? Like, you seem very calm. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. <laughs> we have the space. I let all my tears out. We're all good. So, um, so yeah. And so then we went to rehearsal, went to the rehearsal dinner, and then... On our way back to the hotel from the rehearsal dinner, we get the email from Royal Caribbean that our honeymoon cruise had been canceled. And um, I know a lot of you are thinking, oh my gosh, you're still going to go on your cruise. I know. Trust me. I heard it from so many people. You're still going on your cruise. You're crazy. Don't you know what's going on? And, and I had gotten to the point where I'm like, I don't want to hear it. We are within the time period that if we cancel ourselves, we will lose all of our money. We did not want to do that. So as long as the cruise was going, we were still going to be going. So day before our wedding, um, cruise got canceled. So I'm like, okay, well, now we're going to have to figure out what to do. And Ben and my dad both were like, you're not worrying about it tomorrow. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to the hotel. You're going to see if they can extend your honeymoon suite, your wedding night suite, one night that gives you time to enjoy tomorrow and enjoy your wedding night. And then on Sunday, you can figure out what you're going to do. So that's what we did. The hotel was very gracious. They were able to extend our night at a discount, uh, like our wedding night suite on to Sunday night as well. So check out on Monday for a discount. It was great. And um, the day of the wedding, my parents got an email from one of our guests who was coming, 
who never gets an email from this bed and breakfast in, in Belfont, which is about 20 minutes outside of State College. But she got an email from them about a special that was going on. If you book, um, oh, what was it? Two nights, you get one free. So we ended up booking five nights and we got two nights free. And it was fabulous. And after the week that we had had, it was wonderful to just have a super quiet and chill honeymoon. <laughs> um, but the day of the wedding, I cannot tell you how perfect it was. I mean, the <laughs> everything ran so smoothly. I mean, obviously there were some hiccups. Our unity candle didn't work. Um, <laughs> we thought we were going to be sentimental and use like my parents' unity candle, which had been burnt down a little bit. And so we had to like tilt the other candles to like to get the flame to the wick, but then all the wax fell into it and covered the wick and so it wouldn't light. Um, so there were like minor little hiccups. The morning was super chaotic because we were behind sex schedule with makeup and hair. Um, but other than that, everything was perfect. The flowers were beautiful. The ceremony space was gorgeous. Like. Um, purple was in our color scheme and the chapel was blue, but the church that we ended up having our, um, ceremony at, um, was decorated purple for Lent and it was just everything just worked out so well and I couldn't have asked for a better day. Um, and this, the point that I really want to make is just like God, came through for us and he provides and no matter what was going on around the world no matter what had been canceled or not he made a way for us to get married and I just give him all the glory for that day because it was gorgeous all of the tears that had happened before like the day before and all of the upset and anger that I was feeling um just melted away with how he worked everything out and how he provided for us and made it beautiful and better than what we ever could have imagined. Um, the new ceremony space had parking on site. People were going to have to park in a parking garage and walk to the chapel. So it just and worked out. And the scenery that was there um, and the fact that it was Ben's church that he went to when he was at Penn State for a PhD. So it had some sentimental um, things to it. It was just gorgeous. And I just wanted to share this to um, talk about my wedding, but more importantly, talk about how God came through and how he hears our prayers no matter what you're going through reach out to him because he is working and orchestrating everything to the way it is supposed to be so that's my encouragement I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I will be back with curly videos um curly videos and some other wedding advice stuff um, and how I planned some things throughout the um, period because I didn't get a chance to do as many of those as I wanted to. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your everyday pajamas in quarantine. Um, and for those of you who are working in a uh, doctor's office, hospitals, um, all, all of the uh, organizations like that. We really, really appreciate what you do and how you're helping through this situation. So have a good day. Bye.